The IKEA Pride collection is so insanely cool. Is it? Is that the, the narrative we're going with? Okay, we've got the Two-Spirit Flag, which seems to be like this like black goo consuming the Pride back cushion. And it's got like feathers in the corner. Honest to God, this looks rad, okay? This looks like the aesthetic of like, you know, like the old cartoon villains, like from like the 90s and 2000s and like Nickelodeon cartoon shows or whatever, where the villain was like queer coded, but they were cooler than everyone else in the show. This is the vibe that I get from that. Or like a Disney villain, you know what I mean? Like Ursula or something, like infinitely cooler than anyone else in the story. This is the vibe that I get from that. You know what I mean? I'm getting like Scar vibes, you know? Because Scar was gay. Then we have the ace couch. All right, I'm gonna have to ding this one just based on practicality because there is no way this is comfortable to sit on. I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks like a tapeworm. It looks like a an O'Keefe painting that's been printed on fabric and draped over a couch. Yeah, it's it's like a like a yeah a geode. Yeah, it looks like a geode a little bit. Yeah, that's a blanket. Well, yeah, but it's part of the couch design. I have to. I have to judge it, you know? Then we have the trans couch. I can't really make out the designs that well because of the, the image resolution, but this looks like an Altoid mint. I feel like it's a little weak. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Like it's cute. This is the, the, of the three we've seen so far, this is the one that's most likely to actually be in a person's living room, I think, just based on the design. But this, I feel like it's a little weak, you know? I can make out a couple designs here, but they all look like a child drawing on wallpaper with crayon a little bit like that seems to be the aesthetic you know it also looks like it'd be incredibly easy to make dirty and then we have the bisexual one and man this one is just a banger okay when you change or to and nobody believes you so this one is so special in so many ways okay first of all imagine you like you're doing a, a tinder hookup you know and you like spin around you're like in their apartment you're like looking around trying to see if you can find any red flags and you look at their couch, and it's a bunch of hands all over the couch, and the cushion you read says, nobody believes you. Oh my god. I like also how all the other couches just kind of abstractly represent the aesthetic. This one has text, and the text is explicitly about buy erasure. When you change or to and, nobody believes you. It doesn't even necessarily feel like it's commenting on buy erasure. It just feels like it's doing the buy erasure. You know what I mean? Because it's not saying, like, even if it said, like, nobody believed you, it would it would feel like it was talking about other people's behavior. But now it's like, nope, nobody believes you. You say you're bi, I don't believe you either. Now place your arms on my armrest hand. What is with the hands? Look at this. It's not just print. There are, like, hand mannequins on the side. Is it because, like, is it like bi people are slutty? So, like, there are hands all over you or something? I don't know. It's just the hand aesthetic is interesting. Okay, this is going to have to be, my, after the two-spirit flag, this is going to have to be my second 4.5 stars, okay? The lesbian flag couch slaps. This looks great, okay? This one fucks right here, all right? This one looks great. This one looks like it would go great in, like, a room with a lot of nice natural lighting, you know? It looks like ice cream. It does look like ice cream. Yeah, this is this is a good couch. Okay, here are the reasons why this is a good couch. Okay, first of all, it, it's bright. Uh, it's not floral, but it has that it has that tone. It has patterns on it, which means that if you stain it, it's not as noticeable. You know, unlike with the trans flag one, which I feel like any th any stain that wasn't like pastel pink or blue would be very noticeable. This feels like you could get away with a little more. I feel like it's cool and comfy. Now this next one, I'm sorry. Okay. I get we're all artists here, but couches have to be function over form. And you have wildly overstepped the bounds of good taste. I'm very, very sorry. You have truly surpassed the limits of human need and necessity, okay? I don't care how pretty the flowers are. Why would I grind my pussy on f uh, fake flowers wash? Yeah, I don't know. That's a great question. The thing that really gets me, I feel like it's possible to design this couch in a way that can be sat upon. It didn't have to be like this. It didn't have to be petals glued to the seat and just like a, a bouquet all over the back of the couch. There could have been a way to incorporate it like in the corners or like right here below like a little lip of the underside curtain or there could have been something, you know? 
But instead, they were just like, nah, fuck it. I've got a hot glue gun. I've got $400 of high quality fake flowers. And we are going to just, we are going to live. True. It's a Contra video couch. This one was, this one right here was made for Contra. Very, very good. Speaking of ice cream couches, here we have the pansexual flag. I'm going to be real with you. I feel like this would be sick in the right house. But there's like two houses on earth that are the right house. Does that make sense? I feel like this could accompany an incredibly hyper-specific aesthetic, but nobody's doing that aesthetic. It looks like a wacky hotel lobby couch. This, when I see this couch, honest to God, this makes me think of like, like a youth hostel that bought this back in like the late 60s, and it's so worn and used at this point, and it's seen the butts of like 10,000 disadvantaged children. But, like, the matron that maintains the facility still keeps it because it, it's still cool, you know? That's the, Does anyone else get that vibe? Yeah, the yellow bits used to be white and that kind of stuff, you know? That's the vibe that I get. Kind of looks like fake cowhide. Yeah, if cows were cooler and had, like, cool colors, you know? Animal Crossing couch, it's like a patchwork, sh a patchwork shag rug. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, does, it, it could be an Animal Crossing, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. This one might be my least favorite one yet. This is like elementary schooler making a felt art project for arts in class, okay? It's literally just a baby blue couch that somebody like hot glued fabric to. We, ha we have the cotton balls. We have, wh wh what would these be? Like pool noodles, like r stretches of fabric wrapped around a pool noodle or something uh, that have been hot glued to the back of it. I'm just, I'm sorry. I am, I, you, you guys like it? This is, you guys like this? It's not practical. You couldn't sit in this, not comfortably. And aesthetically, I don't even think it nails the colors right either. These aren't, um, saturated enough. I know that, uh, I know that the trans flag is pastel, but I think we might actually be too pastel on this one. When I like squint, I don't actually see the blue, pink, and white. It, I just see, like, it just turns into, like, just hazy. These are pastels here with the kindergarten drawing classroom couch, but they're a little more saturated. I think it's really cute, but the design is infantile. I'm, I'm hitting you all with the reverse Uno card. You're all transphobic now, okay? This contributes to the infantilization of trans people, all right? You're like all of those croning cis women who look at trans men and call them like uwu soft boys, all right? That's what you are, okay? You think trans people, and you're thinking little baby couches? That's you. Yeah. Aren't you transphobic for liking it, Vouch? No, that's why I pulled out the reverse Uno card. Because now you are. And then we have... Okay, hold on. I think this one unironically slaps. Okay? Not only does this one look cool to me, this one is kinky. Okay? Look at the, look at the straps w with the little chain... What do you call The rings? I admire it. From a practicality standpoint, these straps can't be comfortable to sit on or lay against or get plowed in the ass against, but I feel like the only thing that needs to change here is that the ring and the strap just need to be painted on. This could do nicely in a Cove-style darkroom with LED lighting. Yeah, this to me, this isn't like have it in your living room, okay? This is like if you have a big gamer room. Okay, why is your taste so boring, Vosh? What kind of degenerate do you have to be to look at this couch and think, ugh, normie couch, okay? What I'm saying is like, okay, you've got a master bedroom, all right? But do you sleep? No, you game. You've got the gamer lights up in the corners, you know, what all the e-girls have, all lining everything. You've got the big rig with the desk and everything. And then in the back, when the homies come over, when they're not like sucking your dick while you're blasting out plat games in League, they're here on the sexy non-binary flag couch, okay? <laughs> now, there's one other practical design flaw, and it is primarily that the couch's design screams sex couch. I, I've never actually tried, but I feel like you shouldn't come on a furry couch. I just, I feel like that would be an unbelievable nightmare. Yeah, that's getting moldy, okay? That's gonna ferment, all right? So this is, this is like a display fuck couch. Couch sex seems weird. How do you fuck on a couch? There are a few ways. Anyway, 
this might be in in the top three. The one thing about this fucks it up for me. One big thing, okay? And it's that it has a fucking face on it. There are like two eyeballs right here, and then like a wiggly cartoon monster mouth here. Okay? That's what's that's what's fucking me up. It look it looks like uh it looks like it's like flustered to be sat upon, you know? Like your face sitting when when you sit in it. That's the thing that's doing it for me, okay? I'm not okay with that. Apart from that, I really like it. It's got some nice ice cream looking colors, you know? It looks functional, thank Christ, compared to some of these couches. I feel like you could get away with some stains on this thing. Just turn the pillows upside down. What if you bought this couch and the eyes are looking up at you and you're like, I don't want this thing staring up my asshole. Uh, and you flip the uh, the cushions, and on the underside, even bigger eyes are printed. Because now you're like turning them inside out, you know. Now they're they're yeah they're no 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 they're angry. You flip it around and they're glaring at you. Oh no no no! Hyper realistic eyeballs. Yeah, it turns into a creepy pasta. It's like Squidward with realistic eyeballs. Then then the, he started bleeding from his eyes. Yeah, that would be highly impractical as a couch design. What is my favorite? I feel like aesthetically, my favorite would have to be either the two spirit or the non binary flag. But in terms of like what I would actually want in my house, it would have to be between the lesbian and the gender fluid flag. The two spirit flag really is sick. I mean, I didn't spend that much time talking about it, but like seriously, look at that thing. The, the two spirit flag absolutely slaps. Though it it really does make it seem like some kind of eldritch monstrosity is consuming the very concept of homosexuality. Maybe what maybe that's what the world needs, you know? Maybe uh, maybe that'll be the next gay, you know? Maybe being gay is so 2020. And 2021, 22, it's all about being an eldritch abomination. Which, by the way, from my understanding, is what most non-binary people want to be anyway. You ever see those memes on Twitter? Where it's it's like it, the meme is like here's it's like uh, here's trans guys and here's trans women and it's both like flattering and positive representations of both and here's non-binary people and it's like a drawing of the biblical angel you know what I mean you know what I'm talking about right because I swear to God I see those memes all the time because biblical angels do not you know the be not afraid type stuff yeah you know what I mean right yeah here's the this is the the biblical angel. Non-binary people all want to be frogs, or they want to be like eldritch monstrosities. It looks like the two spirit and the lesbian uh, couches came uh, neck and neck right there. Uh, with the two spirit just narrow. Oh, wait, no, lesbian one winning, right? I think the lesbian one just barely won. The lesbian one is really cute. Very ice cream. Everything should look like ice cream. Vosh poisoned the well on the asexual flag. I don't like it. You're not getting me on that one, okay?